G'day, welcome back to another gas walkthrough with me, your host, Bill Murphy. I've been here the whole time. Um, today, we are looking at Clover's full or half for April 28th, 2024. Um, what is gas? I hear you say uh, gas is genuinely approachable Sudoku. Um, we create weird little Sudoku variants for you to try at home. Um, you can find the link to this puzzle in the description below. Um, but other than that, yeah, uh, you'll also find some hat times. Um, our hat, uh, hat times are two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Sorry, my dog has just walked in. Betty, come on, couch. Come on. Come on. Oh, I got Come on, come on, you can do it. Let's go. Ta da! We have a dog. Sorry, I just needed y'all to know that, uh, I just needed y'all to know my dog is here and she's adorable. Um, but, uh, with that, let's get into today's puzzle. So, uh, this is full or half for April 28th, 2024. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. So, in each box, each row, and each column, we have the digits one to nine once each. Now, in the middle of some four, uh, four cell groups, we have circles. If we have a circle, it indicates that all four digits are odd, or all four digits are even. Um, uh, if we have a square, it indicates that two of them are odd and two of them are even. That's it. That's, that's the whole. That's the whole thing. You can do this, right? You got this. I believe in you. It's okay. So um, let's get into it. So. Uh, if you're new to uh, Variant Sudoku, a thing people love to do is they love to color their puzzles. So I'm kind of going to do that. You do not need to color this puzzle. If you're the sort of person who knows what, what's going on, um, you, don't, you don't need to color your puzzle. Um, I'm going to, what am I going to do today? I think I'm going to go for green and purple because I really like green and purple as my uh, color palette. So I'm going to make all my greens, uh, all my evens green um and all my odds purple so these are all my evens uh if you're like how is he selecting all the numbers uh sudoku pad lets you double click on a number to select all of it um you can do this with uh you know any number or some combination of pencil marks it's fantastic like that now what you'll notice is we have four circles in the grid and each one of them has no overlap in any other box. And they are each in a box with one odd and one even digit. Now in the digits one to nine, we have five odd digits and four even digits. So in each of these boxes, we cannot make any of these four even digits because if we did try and make it four even digits, we would need to put uh, five even digits from between one and nine, which last time I checked doesn't work. So we are going to make every single one of these odd. Now, what that means is in every one of these boxes, all four of these, uh, all three of the remaining cells become even. Because in each box, row and column, we need to have four greens, and five pur uh, pinks, purples. To me, these look purple, but I've been told these are pink. It might just be the resolution on my screen uh, or the screen brightness uh, before anyone gets weird at me for that um, in the comments. Now, so uh, what I've just done with those two cells is I've gone, well, I have four greens, so I'm gonna put my, uh, I'm gonna make the rest of these pink uh purple um now these two cells are both even so we know that both of these must be odd we need one more even to finish out this column and also to finish out the square so we'll put that as a green uh this has two evens so we need to make this one odd 
this has two even, so we need to make that one odd. This one needs to be even. Well, technically, in this column, we have uh, four even. Uh, we have three even, so we're going to make that even. Um, this needs to have another even to make it work, so let's do that. Uh, that's... Oh, no, hang on. That must be uh, even because we need to put two evens there to make that work. Now we have four evens in uh, row nine, so that must be odd, which makes these two even. Uh, and I think that is as far as I can go with par uh, parity coloring right off the bat. But that is going to make a lot of this Sudoku very easy. So, Three and seven means that three and seven must go here, leaving five and nine to place in box one. Five must go there, nine must go there. Uh, four can't go into any of those cells in box one, so four must go there. Uh, six must go here, and that must be eight. Uh, let's do box three now. This must be two. Uh, this is eight and six. Uh, what have we got over here? Um, five and seven can't go in those cells because we have a five and a seven in uh, column seven. So this has to be five and seven. A three, seven pair over here tells us which way this goes. Uh, so that's seven and that's five. One tells us how the remaining one and nine go. We only have one even to place and one odd to place in uh, row one. Uh, the coloring tells us which way around that must go. Let's go down here now. Um, seven, the only place that can go in row nine, because it can't go in uh, column nine, the only place it can go there is there because it can't go in box nine. My apologies, it's been a very busy day. Um, we'll put a three remaining in box nine and then I'm gonna to have to go the other way, but I'm pretty confident I might be able to. No, no, I can't, not yet. Or can I? Oh, sorry, I forgot. Um, I missed this. There are five odds in column seven. So, means that these two must be even. And there are four evens in column three. So let's make those up. Uh, ping purple uh this is even and now these are two odds so this must be two evens and now that i have four odds in box eight i can make those two odd and this is two evens so that must be odd and well where does eight go in box two eight must go here so, uh, still doesn't quite tell me where this goes. Presses. All right, we'll come back to the parity coloring in a minute. But uh, where was I? So I need to put an eight and a four in box four. So uh, that's eight, that's four. This must be two. Uh, this is four and eight. I cannot quite do that just yet. But, Nope, never mind. I need to put an eight in row nine. So that must be four. That's eight. That's four. Uh, where does eight go in column seven? It cannot go in those cells because of that eight and that eight. Never mind. That's just a six. Two, four, eight. There's, so what I will point out is there is a lot going on in this puzzle and there's nothing wrong with a lot going on, but your solve route might be a bit different to mine. Sometimes that just happens in puzzles where there's a lot going on. It's fine. We're happy at gas. Um, we don't want our puzzles to be the sort of like nightmarish things that you spend for like six to eight years trying to solve. We're happy if there's multiple ways through a puzzle. Um, we got a one to place there, seven and nine. Um, so we have all of the we have all of the evens in rows four and six. So let's make that those purple. Uh, we have that must be odd. So these are our two evens. Uh, this is even because uh, we have three evens in that column, and this must be odd because it's the last cell remaining. Now that I've done all the parity coloring, let me blast through all the evens. That's two, 
uh, four and six. Uh, we've got a nines place here, five and three. Uh, this needs a one and three down here. This one will tell us which way around this goes. This is a seven and a nine. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, three in box four can only go there, which tells us that this is a seven and this is a three. Uh, this is a seven, nine, five, seven, nine. What to do in box four? Uh, which tell oh, nine can only go in that spot. Uh, this is a five, which unwinds the rest of this bit. And then finally, we got a one and a seven and a three left to place. This has been full, full or half by Clover. I'm still built. Last time I checked, wherever you are in the world, have a lovely rest of your day. And I will catch you next time. Cheers.